Good afternoon. Before I talk about God as a mighty living, glorified Saviour, and before I turn to the, the good book, God's Word, I usually pray and give thanks to God for his beloved Son, Jesus Christ. So if you don't mind, I'll ask God to bless us as you open up his living word. Eternal God, I give you thanks for spiritual strength and physical strength. Give you thanks for the good book, the Holy Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. It speaks about a living sacrifice. Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners of the deepest die. I give you thanks this afternoon. I'm redeemed. I'm cleansed. I'm forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ, our blessed Redeemer. I give you thanks, gracious God. You've made everything beautiful and everything still beautiful. So, Lord, I'm asking as I, I'm asking as I read the Holy Scriptures, you give me the grace and the wisdom just to think much of Jesus Christ. He's altogether lovely this afternoon. So, Lord, for the gift of salvation, you've given every sinner that repents. We give you thanks. We can surely say, Hallelujah, what a Saviour. So, thank you for 11 pages, Lord. Thank you, I'm allowed to read it with authority and the power of the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Good afternoon, now. I'm going to read Genesis 3, Genesis 3, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was a, a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, to took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave to her husband with her, and he did eat, and the eyes of them both were opened, and you knew that they were naked, and they shewed fig trees together, and made themselves aprons, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and in the man Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees. The Lord God called unto them, the man Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard the voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Do you know, Adam sinned, and Eve sinned, and sadly ever since had been sinners, born in sins and iniquities. Do you know Satan came with the only way he could come, and as that is a snake, you don't get lower than a snake, a snake's belly is to the ground. And Satan left a word that every unbeliever, and that is no matter what country, what nationality, what you think of yourself or who you think of yourself are, Satan put doubt straight away. Did God surely say that? Now I don't know about you ladies and gentlemen, but what people are often good at accusing God when they don't believe in God. Now I know it sounds silly and I know it sounds as if it's a joke, but you know it's not a joke if you're not saved this afternoon. It's an absolutely terrifying thing, you know. Heaven and hell is a reality. Heaven and hell is real places. Don't mock God, please. I'm pleading with you this afternoon. I can't raise an answer for it in anybody's head. I'm going to read another scripture. In Hebrews 9.22 Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. I'm here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to tell you that everybody's had a past. Now, I don't know who I'm speaking to this afternoon, but none of us, I don't think honestly, if we're truthful with God this afternoon and ourselves, I don't think anybody's had it actually easy. We've all went to the place that we dread to go, and that is to, that's to all the coffin of beloved ones. Maybe mums and dads, sadly, or maybe uncles and aunties, maybe nephews and nieces, or maybe friends. But you know, it sounds harsh this afternoon, it sounds hard. But the graveyard doesn't take a holiday. There's no exceptions. Death comes upon all man. Then that's the judgment of God. I'm going to ask you a question, it's between you and God this afternoon. Do you believe in God? Are you angry with God for the things that you think is unfair? 
Do you know I was born again and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb on the 5th of August? 2001, the greatest day in my life. I realised I was walking in darkness, I was bitter, I was angry, I was upset. In other words, what I'm trying to say is I thought the world owed me a living. Listen, God doesn't need to give us anything. What we actually owe to God is thankfulness and ask God to forgive us. The country I'm living in this afternoon, Goldstone, I stay, I go to the gospel meeting in Goldstone and I, and I, I live in New Malls. Now I can honestly say this, that when we leave God out of the picture, we leave God out altogether. There's nothing but anarchy, there's nothing but jealousy, there's nothing but fighting, there's nothing but corruption. Please take this as a solemn warning this afternoon. Get right with God. Satan came, doubted the word. Satan this afternoon is getting people to get right with God whenever it suits you. Listen, today is a perfect day of salvation. We're no promise tomorrow. Don't get, try and ask to get right with God for tomorrow or whenever you want to get right with God. You'll never get right with God. Satan puts doubt in people's minds that there's plenty of time to get right with God. Listen to me, please listen to me. I'm asking very kindly this afternoon. This is not a fair word of friend. This is God. God glorified in glory. Absolutely, totally abandoned and forsaken because of man's sin and man's sinful habit and man's sinful nature. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remissions of sin. Get right with God and it'll be the best move you have ever made in your life. God not only changes souls, but he changes people's directions. May God bless you this afternoon with the gift of salvation. And I thank God this afternoon that there's power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. So I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you, please never mind the messenger. Thank God for the message. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you. Thank you.